All right, Tadiel, just talk a little bit about, uh, you know, you've been here in Fort Wayne for a couple seasons. Talk about what it's like to get this team to the playoffs. Oh, man, it's exciting. It's exciting for everybody on the team, the front office, uh, the coaches. I know the community is getting behind us now, and it's very exciting. I mean, for the players, I mean, we've worked hard all year, and we wanted to be here, and we're here now, and we're trying to do some damage. So it's, it's an exciting experience right now. You know, you guys made a really awesome push in the last month, 11-4 and four in the last month. So what do you guys try to uh, continue to do well heading in the playoffs? What kind of momentum do you try to roll over as you get ready to take on Santa Cruz? The main thing is that we all like each other. We all like each other. We don't really get on to each other for our mistakes and stuff. And if we keep um, having people that's willing to just to play their role and, and, and everyone be unselfish like we've been doing over the past few months, I think we're going to roll. We're going to go far. So. Now, Santa Cruz is the fourth seed, but historically you guys have the advantage. You played them twice in early January, uh, won both games by an average of 16 points. So you guys have had really good success. I know rosters change a lot in this league, yeah. but uh, does that give you more confidence as you head into you know, a best of, best of three series with this team that you can beat them pretty, pretty handily? Uh, we're going into it as if we're 0-0. Zero, zero. I mean, we're not taking anything to happen back in the day. They have new players, like you said. Uh, we're going into it like it's a new team, and we're just going to go in there and fight hard like we do every day. And, get prepared for them like a normal team and we'll be ready but I'm not going to take it as if we have beat them twice and uh, we should beat them again. Uh, it's, it's a new game, new day and we're just going to be ready for everything. When you take a look at their roster, what do they do well because it looks like they've got some veteran point play and also uh, uh, a good host of big guys. Oh yes, they're big men. They're, they, they're big men are pretty good inside. That's one of their main things and they have uh, Travis Leslie on the wing as well which is a prospect. So. Those will be the guys we look to pretty much shut down, uh, and uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play defense, we're going to play hard, we're going to rebound, and um, the offense will come from our defense, and that's, that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, for you and for Ron, guys that have, have been here more than one year, how sweet is this? Because six years in the franchise, you know, first five you guys don't make the playoffs, but uh, not only did you guys make the playoffs, but you went you know, from maybe an, an eighth yeah. seat all the way to the fifth seed right at the end. Exactly. I mean, it's exciting for me and Ron. I mean, we were here last year. We had to um, go through that season. I broke my back last year as well, but it was still, it was still a bad season. I mean, it was not. It's not fun losing anywhere, wherever you're at. It's not. It's not fun to lose. And I know the fans. It's not fun watching the losing team either. So I mean, it, it's, it means a lot to me and Ron as well as the other players that are here this year. It just means the same same amount as much. So I mean, we're just happy to be here, and we're going to go take one game at a time, and we're going to try to do some damage in this playoffs.